Vaisham and we are back with another video on Kaumal Vritya. Unit 6 is Navajata Shishu Parikshana means Neonatal Examination. Navajata Shishu Parikshana. Acharya Charaka has mentioned a detailed examination of a newborn child after Namakarna Samskara. If the described qualities are found in the child, it indicates proper development and a long life for the child. Acharya Kashyapa has described Bala Ayu Parikshana in Lakshana Adhyaya. Ayu Pariksha Physical Examination According to Ayurveda, a detailed examination of all the major and minor body parts and measurements with physical activities can be seen. Kesha means hair. One hair in one follicle, soft, less in number, shiny, well-rooted, black color hair is normal. Thwak means skin, compact, thick, a solid skin is normal. Coming to Shira means head and Lalata means forehead. Head should be large sized, can be rounded and appropriate and proportionate to the body and umbrella shape is normal. Forehead should be wide, strong, smooth, well defined in Shankha Sandhi, upward directed hair and well defined linings and semi lunar forehead is normal. Karna means ear, thick, large and smooth dorsal side, equal downward development, well joined, closely adhering, Karna Putra. Conch of ear, large sized, auditory or physis are normal. Bhru means eyebrows, slightly hanging downwards but not coming together. Equal size, compact eyebrows are normal. Chakshu means eyes, equal size, look beautiful from all angles. Well defined, each eye parts, strong vision, visualized nature and minor organs is normal. Nasika means nose. Straight, long, proper, able to take breathing, slightly curved, anterior part is normal. Mukha should be, Mukha means mouth and it should be large size, straight and well shaped teeth in mouth is normal. Jehwa, tongue, adequate length and width, slippery, thin with normal color that is pinkish red is normal. Talu means palate, slippery, gained high temperature and red colored palate is normal. Faraha means voice. Good intensity voice, not miserable, charming, long lasting effect on others is normal. Ostha, lips should neither thick nor be thin, extended, elevated and blood like color. Hanu, large size Hanu is normal. Griva, not very large. Uraha, properly developed. Parshva, not smooth and compact, considered normal. Generally, the following signs indicate the length of the newborn lifespan. First one is Dirghayu Balas Lakshana. These are the features of an infant who is expected to have a long lifespan. Nails, stripped and long. Feet, corpulent, well-formed, upward lines, long toes. Heels, well-rounded and smooth, ischial tuberosity, large, testis. Shape like of bull, donkey, horse, goat, sheep. Back should be depressed at the center. Madhyamayu Bala Lakshana. These are the features of an infant who is expected to have a medium lifespan. Nails large and feet are bent upwards. Haraswayu Bala Lakshana. These are the features of an infant who is expected to have a short lifespan. Nails are white and rounded. Feet. Many lines over the feet, small heels, small toes and nails. Testis, small and undescendent. Back should be small and narrow. Umbilicus should be irregular protuberance. Neonatal examination. Neonatal examination should be performed in a quiet, warm and bright environment. The first examination should be completed within 24 hours after birth. Objectives are to check whether the baby has made a successful transition from fetal life to breathing on its own, to detect any congenital anomalies, to detect any adverse effect of gestation, labor, deliver or medications, to detect any sign of infection or metabolic disease. Factors to be examined, vital signs, physical examination, Neurological examination, estimation of gestational age.
vital signs temperature axillary temperature should be measured normal range is 36.4 to 37.2 degrees celsius heart rate is it should be examined by auscultation and is counted for a full minute normal hr is 120 to 160 per minute respiratory rate it should be examined by observation and is counted for a full minute and normal rr is for 40 to 60 reps per minute blood pressure is not measured routinely normal bp varies with gestational and postnatal ages physical examination first examination is done in the delivery room or as soon as possible after delivery second examination is more detailed and is done after 24 hours of life third examination is done within 24 hours after discharge from the hospital a measurements normal birth weight should be 2.6 to 3.8 kgs low birth rate is less than 2.5 kgs babies lose 5 to 10 percent of the birth weight in the first few days and gain their birth weight by 7 to 10 days length should be 48 to 52 centimeters from crown to heel head circumference should be 33 to 38 centimeters frontal bone and most prominent part of occipital bone are taken as referral points for the measuring tape general examination color pallor for low hemoglobin or shock cyanosis hypoxemia plethora polycythemia jaundice hyperbilirubinemia skin purpura ecchymosis mottling vernix caseosa oedema mongolian spot rashes milia ethymia toxicum diaper rashes head and neck head for head macrocephaly microcephaly caput succedanum cephalic hematoma fontanelle eyes pupils squint cornea conjunctiva iris ear shape nose potency of each nostril flaring of nostrils mouth cleft lip or palate tongue tie natal teeth neck cyst or masses in the general examination for each thing these all tests are performed for musculoskeletal fractures deformities dislocation polydactyly syndactyly chest should be checked for deformities respiratory pattern auscultation heart should be tested for tachycardia increased pericardial activity auscultation abdomen for organomegaly masses distension rectal for malformation or dislocation posture for hips are abducted partially flexed knees arms are abducted and flexed at the elbow fists are often clenched with fingers covering the thumb genital for full term in male Scrotum is well developed with deep rugae descendant testes. In the preterm, it's small scrotum, few rugae, absence or undescendant testes. In the female, for full term, labia majora completely covers labia minora. In the preterm, labia, ma labia majora is widely separated and labia minora is protruded and vaginal discharge. Neurological examination muzzle tone support the infant with one hand on the chest and the neck extensors should be able to hold the head in a line for three seconds there should not be more than 10 percent head lag when moving from supine to sitting position neonatal reflections reflexes these are automatic actions that do not require higher level brain functioning they are also known as developmental primary reflexes they can provide information about the integrity of CNS. Their absence indicates CNS depression. Moro reflux. Onset, it should be 28-32 weeks of gestation. Disappears in 4-6 to six months. Stimulus, when baby is in supine position, elevate the head by hand, then allow the head to drop suddenly. Response, extension of neck, extension and abduction of upper limb, flexion and abduction of upper limbs, and crying. Bilateral absence, 
CNS depression by narcotics, anesthesia, brain anoxia, very premature baby. Asymmetric response, ERB's palsy, clavicle or humeral fracture, persistence beyond 6th month that is CNS damage, sucking reflux. Onset it should be 32 weeks of gestation, disappears in 3 to 4 months, stimulus, finger or nipple is placed to the mouth, response is sucking, rooting reflux, onset 32 to 34 weeks of gestation, disappears in 3 to 4 months, stimulus is striking the upper lip or corner of the mouth, response head turns towards the stimulus and mouth opens. Stepping reflux, onset it will be 35 to 36 weeks of gestation, disappears in 6 weeks, Stimulus touching the tip of the feet to an even surface while the infant is held upright. Response. Infant makes movements that resemble stepping. Placing reflux. A newborn flexes the knee and bring the foot up when the sole of his or her foot is rubbed. Palmer grass reflux. Onset it will be 36 weeks of gestation. Disappears in 4 months. Stimulus. Placing a finger on the palm. Response is grasping. Significance, absence, CNS depression, persistence, CNS damage. Assessment of gestational age. Gestational age refers to the period of stay in the uterus by the fetal till its delivery. A newborn is said to be complete full gestational age if it is delivered after 37 to 42 weeks of pregnancy. Knowledge of gestational age is vital to decide the nature of care required by the infant at birth. Classification of gestational age of infant A. Preterm It is less than 37 weeks or 259 days. B. Term 37 to 42 weeks or 260 to 294 days. C. Post term 42 weeks or 295 days or more. Ballard examination of newborns or new ballard score. It is a commonly used technique for assessment of gestational age. It assigns a score to various parameters under physical and neurological criteria the sum of all of which is then extrapolated to the gestational age of the baby the scoring allows for the examination of the age in the range of 26 to 44 weeks the new ballard score is an extension of the above to include extremely preterm babies up to 20 weeks the scoring relies on the intrauterine changes that the fetus undergoes during its maturation the neurological criteria depend mainly upon muscle tone and the physical ones rely on anatomical changes. The general physical examination is performed in the first hours of life in a newborn. The components of assessment of physical maturity are skin, lanugo, plantar surface, breast, eye or ear and genital. The neurological evolution is carried out when the infant is at least 24 hours old. The assessment is based on first is A. Postural attitude of the baby B. Joint mobility Thank you everyone. That's all for the session. So I hope you all are doing good. The new variant of COVID-19 that is Omicron has come up. So I just want really to be, I just want everyone to be safe and take the necessary precautions needed and only go out when it's necessary and unavoidable. So this is Aisha signing out. Bye bye guys. Thank you. Keep supporting.